These are the dedicated tools and materials required. Please ensure that you are working in an open space with good ventilation and do not work near flammable items. Please refer to the manual that shows the minimum fitting depth of the copper tube joint and the gap between the outer and inner diameter. Replace the air inside the tube with dry nitrogen during brazing to prevent an oxide film from forming. This oxide film can clog the solenoid valve, capillary tube, accumulator oil return hole, and oil pump suction port inside the compressor, which may interfere with normal operations. The braced joint surfaces are overlapped, and the braced material is welded to the gaps to ensure air tightness with the joining force. Braced direction should be in the downward or sideways direction. Do not brace upwards. The melting temperature of copper is 1085 degrees Celsius and the melting point of the welding rod is 800 to 900 degrees Celsius. Make sure that the acetylene and oxygen is balanced to get the perfect combustion. When everything is in check, you may start the brazing process. When you are brazing near pipes, make sure you use wet cloth to cover the motorized valves, the three-way service valves, solenoid valves, and other important parts. Once brazing is complete, pressurize the piping system and check for leakage of brazing points by using soap or leak detector. Please refer to the instruction booklet before your installation.